Just a quick update for those waiting for part 2 of my Linksys EA6500 802.11ac router review. Unfortunately, when I first got the router, I was running a firmware build 142736. And subsequently, as you, if you look at the dates, I've had to upgrade twice. And unfortunately, ever since I've upgraded, I can't get a connection or maintain a steady connection on the wireless media bridge. So I've gone through all the usual stuff downloading the firmware and reinstalling it as well as factory reset and then reprogramming it all that stuff uh, on both the router as well as on the wireless media bridge but unfortunately I still can't get a consistent connection and this is despite the router being on the same floor um, literally 15 feet away from where I've got it set up right now if I go into the wireless media bridge I've tried both manual and WPS setup using the button and that doesn't work. I've also used the wireless network site survey which automatically scans for networks. As you can see there I've got a hundred percent signal on the 802.11 AC network and I'm just going to try to connect now. And unfortunately it doesn't connect. On the router itself, I've tried a whole bunch of different settings, including different um, security settings, different channel widths, and I actually went through every single channel to try to get it to connect. Sometimes it will connect, and I have to power cycle the modem, and other times it won't. So unfortunately I can't continue with the rest of the review, but I did get to do some tests while I was still on the old 736 firmware. So those are at the end of this video. I got to test it on the same floor as well as in the basement with a single device. I've contacted Cisco and hopefully they get back to me shortly with either uh, a firmware downgrade or some other um, tweak or replace the uh, router and wireless media bridge so that I can complete the review. So now that we're done with 802.11G and 802.11N it's time to test out 802.11ac using the wireless media bridge. So I've got the laptop set up on the same floor, uh, just in an adjacent room because it'd be pointless if this uh, bridge was right next to the router. And before I do anything, I'm going to switch the router over to 802.11ac. Since the wireless media bridge is only uh, 5.0, you don't have to enable uh, 2.4. You can actually run it at 20, 40, and 80 megahertz channels, but right now I'll just start off with auto. So AC, WPA, same thing, and OK. And obviously this laptop is going to disconnect because it doesn't have AC. It's going to try to connect, but obviously it won't. So on this end, to set this up, you need you need a laptop or other device because you need to plug into the bridge and actually connect it. I'm just going to set this up. There's an Ethernet cable and the power cable. A single power port and the 4 gigabit Ethernet ports. I'm going to plug this in and just to make sure that we are on gigabit Ethernet. I'm going to turn off wireless. So once you've connected the media bridge to your uh, laptop or device, you can either use the WPS, so Wi-Fi wi protected setup button, so press this on the router and the device to connect them, or you can manually configure it by uh, logging into the setup. But to do that, you have to give your computer a static IP address. So I'm just going to go into properties and then assign a specific address so 10 100 uh, 1 dot let's say 5 this last number can be anything so it can be 87 okay and okay once you've done that open up a tab in your browser and go to 10 100 dot 1 dot 1 and this will log you into the media bridge. Admin, 
admin as with all Linksys devices. And here you are in setup. So I'm back downstairs, and if you remember, uh, down here it's all brick, concrete and plaster, and steel mesh behind it. So it's actually really bad for Wi-Fi. But I will test to see how fast it is, and if it can handle enough for an HD stream. So I'm just going to repeat those same tests again with those three channel widths, and uh, test how it performs in the basement.